Alex Galchenyuk is currently on pace to become the most traded player in NHL history at this point, it feels like. He's been moved so many times over the years, I just can't even keep track of how many teams he's been on this, let alone this week even, he's been on three teams now. Going from the Ottawa Senators to the Carolina Hurricanes in a pretty good trade that I thought for Carolina and for the Ottawa Senators, and now being dumped from the Hurricanes to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for Igor Korsgarev and David Wirtz. Wir Worowski, excuse me about that pronunciation there. But nonetheless, this is a really interesting trade because I actually really, really like this trade for the Leafs. I still think Alex Galchenyuk, while have been while ha he's been in a massive slump recently, and just over the last few years hasn't had very good production overall. Um, just when you look at his stats from the last few seasons and from the teams he's been on, obviously the decline is really obviously you know very obvious. Um, going back to his last, the last good season I would say that he had would probably be back with the Montreal Canadiens in 2017-18, having 32, um, excuse me, 51 points would probably be his last good season. Other than that, he had a decent year the following season in Arizona, putting up 41 points. Obviously, a little bit of a dip in points, but that year in, exact year in Arizona, not a lot of guys were putting up points anyway. But nonetheless, when you go and look at his other teams, though, that he's been on for the last few years, hasn't been good. In 2019-20, playing 45 games for the Penguins, putting up 17 points. That same season, getting traded over to the Wild, putting up 7 points. Then this year, playing 8 games with the Ottawa Senators only being able to put up one goal for one point and then going to the Carolina Hurricanes where he did not play a game and now he is with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So yeah, definitely a very crazy the last few years for Alex Galchenyuk, but getting back to the trade, I think it's a pretty good move for the Toronto Maple Leafs because it's not a bad depth signing for them because Galchenyuk is still pretty serviceable in the NHL in my opinion, and for a Leafs team that's already pretty deep, um, this is a pretty good add for them to have in case of injuries and whatnot. Um, I think this is actually a really good move for the Leafs, and I hate to say that because I'm not a big fan of the Leafs, but when there's a good trade in the NHL, it's hard not to look at it and be like, damn, this is a pretty good depth move. Um, Korsgrove and Worovsky, excuse me again, man, these names, these, these European names are getting to me with these pronunciations. Nonetheless, though, they're good players, but again, I think that Galchenyuk would just be more serviceable and provide more NHL experience on a roster going forward. I think that in most re realistically why the Hurricanes dumped this was mostly because I feel like they didn't really have a spot for him in their system. Last time I checked, according to HockeyDB, actually, he was sent down to the Chicago Wolves. I believe the Chicago Wolves are the affiliated team, um, I don't know of which team, honestly, but I know that he was, la that's what his currently says his uh, last statistic was before being traded, was that he was in the AHL. So nonetheless, I think this is a good move for the Leafs for the long run of the season, going into the playoffs and going into the hard stretch. The Canadian division is going to be tough, so to have good depth like this is a good move overall. But yeah, other than that, let me know your thoughts down, Leafs fans, hockey fans, in the hockey, uh, description down below. Do you think this is a good move for the Leafs? Do you think it doesn't make much sense if you're the Leafs giving up two players to get one just for depth? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you're a fan of hockey, regards to the team, you root for definitely consider dropping a subscription as we are on that road to 1K, and all the support really, really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for constantly showing the support, dropping likes and whatnot. It really does mean a lot. Turn on notifications. If you haven't already, follow my Twitter link in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, positivity. Bye bye.